this is our six month update. Uh, we're six months in today uh, with this tank and we've added a couple of new things today um, which I'll go through in a sec but we'll just have a quick whiz round and show you what we've got and what's happened. That's our flower pot uh, Gonopora coral which is still thriving after it's past at least three months it's been in there so um, as you know from previous updates we're expecting it to wither at some point but at the moment it seems to be thriving um, so we're very pleased with that because they're apparently very hard to keep. Uh, this is our bubble tip with our two new clowns hosting. They've been there for about a month. They've been hosting it for a couple of weeks, but well, a bit longer actually. Um, and they now refuse to come out unless they're being fed. So they seem um, very pleased with themselves in there. The enemy has wandered around the tank a couple of times. It's done a few laps and it's settled down there for the moment. I think that was brought on by the lighting change that we, we made about a month and a half ago. Uh, we've got a more, more powerful light, so the anemone did basically move down a little bit in the end. This is our plate coral, orange plate coral, which is a fairly easy one to keep, as I've said before. Um, sits there on the sand. We move him around occasionally when we're siphoning, um, which he doesn't like very much, but uh, it's better to siphon the sand once a week. So um, Then we've got... Um, our amazing sun coral which is just going from strength to strength we've worked out what it likes which is to be spot fed um, we decided not to spot feed it for a while and actually for a couple of weeks it didn't come out um, but it now opens up every night because we encourage it with um, spot feeding brine shrimp uh, we also spot feed it with um, just the standard fish food really. We've got a few different types. We've got algae flakes, aegis flakes, and marine flakes. And it likes a mixture of all of those. So you just squirt some into each um, polyp with um, with a pipette. And gradually, after about two weeks again, it, it actually comes out like that every night. And even during the day sometimes, it's a really amazing coral. Uh, this is our green moonstone coral, which has grown a little bit. It's actually moulded itself to the shape of the rock there at the bottom, you can see. Um, seems to be very happy. It's been in there at least four months. Um, it's definitely growing slowly. As I've said before, our lighting isn't um, conducive to growth. It's more for colour because of the size of our tank. Uh, we've gone for a 16K light, which is uh, the spectrum which encourages coloration rather than growth um, because we don't need things growing out of control in the size of the uh, tank that we've got. Move down to see our kryptonite candy cane which has an extra head. That head which is second from the right is a new head. That was originally one head, those two together, and it's broken off into two heads. We're out of focus for a second but we are on a phone so it's not a great picture I'm afraid. But, um, this is just a quick whiz round in this lighting. It will focus again at some point. There we go. So those two heads that are in shot now are actually split from one head. And that happened about a month and a half ago. Um, so we're presuming that hopefully some more heads will appear in a similar way. We had to move it uh, about a week ago because the anemone started wandering on top of it. Um, and it wasn't very happy for a couple of days having been stung and then moved. But it's recovered nicely, it's at a similar height in the tank that it was before. We've got three new little um, new little frags today. Uh, this first one is a red uh, polyp coral, um, button polyp. Uh, the second one along there, there's our dragonette, by the way, nestling behind that other coral. That's a little torch coral frag. Um, they're still acclimatising, they only came in today so we've just put them on the bottom of the tank in the lowest lighting position so they can acclimatise and the third one along is a yellow version of the red one, it's a yellow uh, button polyp so uh, we'll see how those do over the next week or so hopefully they'll, they were open when the lighting was on higher but we've got it set on a, on a preset 24 hour cycle and it's now evening time 
it's about 10 to 10 and um, if we leave this running you'll see the light actually gradually fading down to moonlight anyway so that is our six month update I've run out of things to say at the, at the moment but uh, it's looking pretty spectacular by our standards I know there are some better Hello. tanks out there but Hello. the um, I, there's one more thing to mention which is that clove coral which has gone a bit strange to say the least but what's happened is it's left its little platform you can see at the bottom and um, yeah where, where the finger was there for a minute and it's kind of sprouted up um, and it's got new heads that are appearing higher up so we're presuming it prefers a slightly lighter position that it, that it was in and it's um, opening up higher up on the rock so eventually we'll just remove that platform um, and it'll just look natural on the rock hopefully anyway bye for now and thanks for watching